Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Celestial Cruises webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 40 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Kelly Predmeski. Kelly is the Celestial Cruises BDM for the Southeastern US and Caribbean based in West Palm Beach, covering Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. And with that, take it away, Kelly. Thanks, Anna. Hi, everyone. I'm really excited um, to be presenting Celestial Cruises to you guys today. Um, it's a pretty exciting time at Celestial because Greece and the Eastern Med is really having quite a moment and the spotlight has really been on us all this year um, and even last year and there is a real growing demand for this destination. So we're a great um, cruise line and, and partner to be familiar with right now so that you can make sure to capitalize on the opportunities that are coming to you for this destination. Um, I do cover the Southeast U.S. and really I'm just here to help, you know, train any agents from any area. Today we have four BDMs in the U.S., someone up in the Northeast, someone covering the Midwest and out West. So if you haven't met your Celestial BDM yet, um, definitely reach out to us. We would love to meet as many of you as possible. So today I'm going to kind of introduce you to who Celestial Cruises is. I like to call it the Celestial 101. Um, I'm going to talk about our history, like what our brand and personality is like, where we go, what our fleet and onboard experience is like, and who is the Celestial Cruiser. So you can make sure to match your clients to, um, you know, make sure you have the right clients for this experience. So that's what we'll be covering today. So about Celestial, um, quite a few agents are starting to hear about us, but don't really know too much about us or a lot have never heard of us. But we were actually founded in 2014 and we're owned by a larger group based in Cyprus that has been operating cruises in the Eastern Mediterranean for almost 30 years, along with owning about 25 hotels and resorts throughout um, Cyprus and the Greek islands. So we're part of the Lewis group. We have about 100,000 guests sail with us every year. We specifically specialize in the Eastern Mediterranean. That's all we do, all we do. We are Greek owned um, and we're home porting in Piraeus, so Athens, Greece. Um, almost all of our itineraries start and end in Athens, which really kind of sets us apart. We're really doing this specific region more in depth than anyone else. We have ports of call throughout Greece, Turkey, Egypt, Israel, Cyprus, and just a few months ago, we announced that we're going into the Adriatic side of the Met as well in 2020. Um, we keep it simple. We have two ships in our, in our fleet. They're both mid-size, and we have um, seven itineraries at the moment. We have a three-night itinerary, a four-night itinerary, and a couple seven-night itineraries. We're probably the easiest cruise line that you're gonna get to know. Um, we are operating year round in the Eastern Med, so we have a lot of departures for you to choose from to meet your clients' needs. At the heart of what really makes Celestial Cruises unique and different from the other cruise lines operating in this part of the world is that we are truly a destination cruise line. And what I mean by that is that people are going to go with us who truly want to experience the destination. The cruise itself is secondary. And how we deliver this type of experience is by having absolutely maximum times in ports, including some fantastic overnights that really allow your clients the opportunity to explore these destinations more in depth than you're gonna get with other cruise lines. Um, besides more time in port, because we have smaller ships, we can go further into the heart of this region to show your clients a side that's often skipped over. And when they do that, when they get to see these little hidden gems, they come home with a completely different perspective of the region, knowing that they didn't miss out on anything. We can 
also do this because this is the only region we're focusing on. We're not starting in Spain or Italy and getting to go to one or two places in Greece. We're truly doing the Eastern Med in depth. Another thing that really sets us apart in, in the region is that we're truly all-inclusive. So our value is amazing. We include three meals on board each day. We have an unlimited drink package included in the cruise fare. So we include beer, wine, liquor, coffee, soda. It's all included. Um, we include select shore excursions. This is my favorite because we are automatically allowing your clients to experience the best of the destination. On our seven night sailings, we automatically include three select shore excursions. And even on our shorter three and four night itineraries, we include two. Everyone gets the same ones included um, and they're truly some of the biggest highlights of the itinerary. We have a full entertainment program every night and all the port fees and gratuities are included. So really your clients are not gonna have to worry about anything once they step on board. The only real additional cost they might incur is if they book additional optional shore excursions while they're on board, or if they utilize our spa, which is fantastic, um, or if they purchase Wi-Fi on board, that's not included. But really, um, they are not going to have to worry about any big costs showing up um, that are going to be unexpected. Now, another thing that really sets us apart is that because we're Greek owned, we really bring the culture of the region into the onboard experience. We want you to feel like you're in Greece when you're on board. We don't want you to stop experiencing the destination just because you're on board. So we really do that through a couple different ways. Through the dining, um, we have a, a lot of different nationalities cruising with us. So we have something for everyone, but we always try to sprinkle the local Greek recipes throughout the menu as well. And even on um, our ships in last this past year, we added a Greek deli on one, and I believe another one is going on here shortly in the future. So we have one place on, on board where all of the traditional Greek flavors and foods are in one place that your clients can try like gyros, Greek yogurt, um, and some pastries. Um, on deck one night, we normally will have a traditional souvlaki barbecue as a dining option for dinner, which is a favorite. You're going to have that awesome, the, the lamb, the pork, the chicken barbecue skewer style, and it's awesome. It tastes amazing and gets really good feedback. We also added a specialty restaurant um, in our mean dining area uh, this season, and it's an extra 36 euros per person, and it's all locally sourced Mediterranean seafood din um, dining option. So again, another opportunity for your clients to try to look the local flavors. Also with our drinks package, we are including local Greek beer and wine, so your clients can try the local flavors there as well. The entertainment, again, we have a full nightly um, program. Every night we have a different show, theme show, and we're going to weave it in here too. Um, we'll tell the story of a Greek wedding, very Mamma Mia Ask One Night as one of the shows. We tell the story of Greek mythology. Um, one of my favorites is when we're in port on the island of Crete, we actually bring on a local folk um, traditional dance group that does a traditional Cretan dance performance, which was my favorite. Um, and even the activities we offer on board are all going to give your clients further opportunities to experience the destination, whether it's through Greek dancing lessons, Greek language lessons, olive oil tasting, all of those things are things that we offer on board. Uh, and if you have clients that like want to stay up late and have fun, we have a full nightclub. We have lounges with karaoke. So they're going to be entertained when they're on board with us. Now, let's jump into the meat and potatoes, the itineraries that we operate. This is the fun stuff. The first one, um, I would say this is our bread and butter itinerary. It's called the Idyllic Aegean. It was the very first seven night cruise that we came out with. Um, and it's getting fantastic feedback. If you really look at the other options, nothing lines up like this. No one else is doing this region the way that we do. It is Athens round trip, and it visits the ports of Kushadasi, Rhodes, Crete, 
Santorini, Milos, and Mykonos, and then back to Athens. The included shore excursions on this itinerary are fantastic. We do a guided tour of Ephesus in the port of Kushidasi. Um, this is a highlight for a lot of our guests, and it's a fully guided tour of the biblical site of Ephesus. And actually on the way back for, uh, to the port, we stop at a traditional Turkish rug shop, and we get like a hands-on experience learning about the rug making process. We get to meet the women that are hand making the rugs, which can take like up to two years sometimes. Um, we got to try it ourselves. They do this really cool demonstration of where silk actually comes from. And they literally extracted silk from silkworms in front of us to put it onto a loom. So that was um, one of my favorite things. And they include some traditional Turkish food and wine. So that's all included as one of the included shore excursions in the cruise fair. On the island of Rhodes, we do a guided tour of the Acropolis of Lindos. And Rhodes is such a cool um, destination in this itinerary because it's got a totally different vibe than the rest. It's actually one of the largest medieval cities in all of Europe and dates back to 400 BC. So this is like quite a historical island and the architecture has a completely different feel than a lot of the other islands. So um, another fabulous included shore excursion here. And then on the island of Crete, we also do a guided tour of the Palace of Gnosis, which, is, which was um, an archeological site built by the ancient Minoan civilization, which is the very first civilization on the entire continent of Europe. So the history here is also amazing, but Crete in general, it's actually a pretty big island, but when you ask a lot of locals what their, one of their favorite places is, it's Crete. And Crete has the history, Crete has, beaches if you go into the countryside of crete there's rolling green hills and vineyards like crete is so diverse it's one of the one of my favorites let's like um take a look at what the actual schedule is here so you can see the times in port because this is really where you're going to see how much this stands out first of all we're in kushidasi from 8 a.m until 7 p.m then again we have a full day in roads from 8 a.m until 6 p.m and here's where you really start to see the differences we're on the island of Crete from 8 a.m. until midnight. That is maximum time in port. You actually have plenty of time to even do two, a second optional shore excursion, which I really recommend. We have this fantastic optional shore excursion that is called the Cretan Countryside. Um, it's about $90 for a half day. And what we do is we take a coach about 30 minutes from the port into the countryside up in the hills, and we visit this man, Vasilius, who we've been working with for years, and his family owns a vineyard and also a rocky distillery. And he teaches us all about their family's winemaking process because it can be different family to family and also island to island because of the different landscapes. And this guy is a character. Like, this is the type of local, when you meet them, your clients are going to come home and tell you all about this guy because this is someone they're going to remember forever. Um, it was just beautiful surroundings. We got to try some traditional Cretan food as well. They fed us. We also had a traditional folk dance performance. Um, this is one of those really special local experiences that your clients crave. So, definitely recommend it to them. And when you pre sell, optional shore excursions, they're commissionable to you through Celestial Cruises. So we love travel agents as well. Now next is going to be a blockbuster, right? Santorini is on everyone's bucket list. And we are in port from 7 a.m. until 2.30 in the morning. Um, you're not going to get that with any other cruise line. And if you look a little further down the schedule in Mykonos, we overnight in Mykonos as well. And we're in port for 24 hours from 7 p.m. until 7 p.m. the next day. Those two stops alone, no one comes close to giving you that much time in those places. And you know your clients have been waiting their whole lives to come to these two destinations. Um, and through us, these specific selling points really are so powerful for you to use in conversations you're having with your clients, especially clients who think that they want to try to piece the Greek islands together with ferries and hotels. These are really strong selling points for you to convert them to first time cruisers. Because with all of those time, that time in port, it gives them the freedom and flexibility to design their day the way 
that they want to. They can do these islands, whatever they wanted to do. If they were staying in a hotel, they'd be able to do it with us. But they're basically using our cruise ship as a floating hotel. So what does that mean for them? That means they're not paying a thousand dollars a night on the island of Mykonos. It means that they can take that extra money and put it towards actual experiences and come home with more memories, right? It also means that they're watching the sunset from the island, not from a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. It also means they get to experience these destinations once all of the other cruise ships have left for the evening, which really can make a huge difference on such small islands like these. So there's some really strong selling points to these um, to this itinerary. And so in the middle there, between the big shots, is Milos. And if you're not familiar with Milos, I would urge you to do a little bit of research because in 2018, Forbes actually named Milos one of the hottest new destinations in Greece. And I actually recently saw it show up um, like two weeks ago on a list of the most beautiful islands in the world. So Milos is also getting to be more well known. And this is a place that your clients would miss out on if they didn't have you to tell them they needed to be going there, right? And so you're looking like uh, the true expert that you really are when you show your clients an itinerary like this. You can see the price point. It's starting at $12.50 per person for a lead-in price on an inside cabin. But I'll urge you to think about this a different way. You know some of the other cruise lines that you're going to be comparing us to, their inside cabins are starting at a much higher price point. Some of them maybe around $2,800 for an inside cabin. Well, guess what? With us, you could get a grand suite for $2,500 per person. It's a different way of looking at getting your clients on one of these ships. This itinerary is also seasonal. So it's operating from May through the beginning of October. So we do have departures every week. <laughs> it's gonna be every Saturday. So lots of dates for you to choose from. <coughs> Excuse me. Our next seven night itinerary, um, I'm really excited about. It's the Eclectic Aegean. It actually starts October 14th. It's one of our brand new itineraries that we're launching in 2019. And it's truly for that client that's traveled before and is like ready to up their travel game. Um, we are headed to Istanbul, Chinakali, Volos, Crete, Santorini, and back to Athens. Um, we overnight in Istanbul, so we're there for 28 hours, and we're including a river cruise on the Bosphorus River. So this is the river that literally divides Asia and Europe. Um, and after the river cruise, we're going to head to the spice market in Istanbul, which is like a traveler's dream. Like you're going to meet the locals, shop for authentic souvenirs, try the different foods, um, get your cool jewelry, and of course, get those photos for the gram, right? Um, in Chinakali, the thing about us, we always try to take it further. We don't want to skip those hidden gems. So Chinakali is definitely one of those destinations on this itinerary. Chinakali is where the ancient city of Troy is and where the Trojan War took place. So if you have any clients that are real history buffs, they're going to love this stop. Plus, this is where Gallipoli is, which had a big part in the World War I. And there's actually World War I battlefields that you can visit here. And then Volos, again, this is probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. It's the picture that you're looking at here. Volos, Greece is the gateway to get to Meteora, Greece, which is in the main, mainland part of Greece. And it's a really mountainous region. And there's these epic limestone cliffs popping up all throughout this whole landscape. And there's UNESCO listed monasteries that were built on top of them, like the one you see here. And we have an optional shore excursion to the monasteries. It's a full day, it's about nine hours, and the excursion costs $105. So the value is amazing. And you're gonna see jaw-dropping landscape <laughs> that you're, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I'm so excited to go there. And then we also include a coach tour um, in the port of Santorini around the caldera. We're in um, Santorini for a shorter time on this itinerary um, because it's more in the shoulder season. This is going to operate in October and November. You can take a look at the schedule here. And then again in the spring. This also goes to Mykonos as well. <coughs> 
but you can see how much um, the time we're spending there. So we're only in Mykonos for an evening and we're in Santorini for the first part of the day. Um, it's because these destinations do start to get a little more quiet during these months. Um, and we still were able to spend more time in uh, Istanbul, Chinakli, and Meteora in the first half of the itinerary. <clears throat> And then we also have another brand new seven night itinerary coming out this December, which is truly a bucket list trip. Um, you're going to hit Europe, Africa, and Asia all in seven nights, and it's running in the low season. So it's going to run in November and then pick back up in March 2020. And we're going from Athens to Egypt to Israel, Cyprus, Rhodes, Kushadasi, and then back to Athens. And what I absolutely love about this itinerary is one of the included shore excursions is a full day in Egypt. It's completely taken care of. Your clients are gonna see the pyramids. We're gonna go to the Sphinx. We're gonna go to the archeological museum in the heart of Cairo. We are gonna go to the Papyrus Institute to see how papyrus was made. And we include a lunch buffet at a five-star hotel. So your clients don't have to worry about a thing in Egypt. They're going to see everything. We also include um, the same excursions that we already went over for the idyllic on the islands of Rhodes and Kushadasi. And I want to show you um, something interesting we're doing with Egypt. So if you look at the times that we're in port, what we do is we do have one at sea day. This is like one of the only at sea days we have on all of our itineraries uh, from Athens en route to Egypt. So what we do is we come into Alexandria. Everyone who's going to do one of the, the included shore excursion is going to disembark. Um, at 9 a.m., the ship is actually going to depart Alexandria and reposition to Port Said, and the excursion will meet back up with the ship in Port Said. So it's important that if your clients aren't doing the included excursion or one of the optional shore excursions that they stay on board because the ship is leaving. Um, another thing to know is that we port in Ashdod for when we visit Israel and we're in port there for 14 hours. We have two optional shore excursions that you could book for your clients there. One is a half day that does Tel Aviv and the old city of Jaffa. And then we also have a full day option that does Bethlehem and Jerusalem. And they're truly going to see everything um, on, on that tour. You're going to go to the Church of the Nativity and Shepherd's Field in Bethlehem. You're going to go to the Western Wall and the Church of the Holy Sepulcher and the Old Walled City in Jerusalem. It's going to be an action-packed day. Um, but these are optional, so we've really left it open for your clients to design their day because obviously people have different motivations for wanting to go to this destination. So they'll have the freedom to kind of create the day that they want. Another really big selling point about this itinerary is that we actually allow you to sell this itinerary, Israel to Israel, as an alternative to booking this Athens to Athens. So your clients could actually embark in Ashdod take the cruise all the way around, go through Athens, come to Egypt, and then take it back to Israel because this is departing every week. This is a huge selling point um, and a great opportunity for you to really maximize your revenue because then you're gonna be able to add on a land tour of Israel, right? Your clients are gonna be able to explore a destination um, more in depth if they're really interested in Israel and then hop on this seven night cruise to see some extra destinations as well. Um, like I said before, this is departing this December and then picks up again in March and then again at the end of the year um, in November and December 2020. We do have sailings through 2021 already online for you to book if you have plans that like to plan um, pretty far in advance. <clears throat> And then our last seven night itinerary is, um, we're really excited about this. We announced that we're going into the Adriatic a few months ago. And this is unique because this is our only itinerary that is not gonna depart in Athens. It's actually gonna go Venice to Venice. And it's a seven night cruise and it's going to have four departures in December, 2020. Um, this is a really interesting option because we're going to these destinations in the low season, in the month of December. And 
there's a few different like reasons why. One, places like Venice and Croatia are really dealing with a lot of over, over tourism issues. Going to those places in the dead of the summer is not necessarily fun right now. So this is an alternative for your clients that want to visit these destinations with fewer crowds, but also it's the low season, so the price does start a little lower. Right now, it's actually on sale with a starting price of $9.99. Um, plus, when you're looking at flights in the beginning of December to a destination like this um, versus July or August, it's going to make a huge difference. Um, it's going to have, you know, that holiday spirit that Europe has, that that charming old world feel in some of these places. So you'll get to experience that side of these destinations as well. Um, we include a guided tour of Achillion on the island of Corfu. Then um, we head to Patras, which is actually on mainland Greece. And that's the gateway to go to Olympia, Greece. So where the first Olympics were. So that's a really cool stop. Then we head to Kotar in Montenegro and Dubrovnik and Split in Croatia. And in those, in Kotar and also in Split, we're actually including walking tours um, as the included excursions because in these little places like this, you're actually walking through history and through the sites and half the time you don't even realize it. Like in Split, you could be walking through Diocletian's palace and that's just the route you need to take to where you have to go. So because of the uniqueness of these destinations, we're gonna include a really great informative walking tour that's gonna take you through history um, around these little cities. So let's take a look at the schedule. Um, it's gonna depart Venice very late, almost midnight on a Saturday. So your clients technically don't need a pre-night if they don't want to, but again, Venice is gonna be a really popular place to do some add-ons for. We have one at C day here, and then we're going to be in Corfu from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m., Patras from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then plenty of time in Montenegro from 2 p.m. until 10. Dubrovnik, tons of time to explore that fascinating city with the uh, being the old wall city. It's unlike any place I've ever seen, 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. And then you're going to get a good amount of time in Split, which is a pretty small place. So you'll be able to explore and have plenty of time. So again, we're gonna have four departures of this itinerary, and we're actually gonna have a repositioning cruise on either end um, to reposition uh, the Olympia ship from uh, Athens to Venice. So those can all be seen on our website with the, the dates, the varied itineraries, and also the pricing for those as well. And then last, we do have three and four night cruises of the Greek islands but these are much different than our seven night itineraries. Some of you might have heard of us before because a lot of our three, and, our three and four night itineraries are packaged in a lot of the major tour operators packages. So we have partners such as Trafalgar, Globus, Colette, Homeric, Insight Vacations, Gate One, Contiki Vacations. All of these major tour operators use us as their partner in the Greek islands. So that really says a lot to begin with. Um, but these are really meant to be kind of an upsell opportunity. If your clients are going to France and Spain, why not suggest taking a cheap inner Europe flight over to Greece if they've never been there before? They can check out these islands and see where they like and they want to go explore more in depth later. And the pricing is starting at six, around $600 for a three night cruise and goes up from there. They go to all of the same ports that are included on our idyllic, except we go to Patmos as well, which has a lot of biblical history. We actually get a lot of biblical pilgrimage groups going on these itineraries. But the thing that you really need to be aware of is that these three and four night cruises are going to two ports a day. So they're very fast moving. They help your clients check a lot off their list in a little amount of time. But I will tell you from reading our customer comments on the surveys, that your clients are not connecting the dots with what they're buying. So we tell them how much time they're gonna get in places like Santorini and Mykonos, but guess what? That time goes by fast when you're there on the ground. And we get a lot of feedback saying, why don't you spend more time in Mykonos? Or why don't you spend more time in Santorini? But we do on our seven night cruises. So there's a big opportunity for you to upsell clients who might see this itinerary onto the seven night. And we really need your help 
connecting the dots and what this experience is going to feel like on the ground because we really designed the seven night itineraries for our North American travel agents to be selling to your clients, right? Because those don't need to be packaged into any other package. You slap a pre night and a post night on the seven night cruise, you have like the average amount of time a North American might have to take a holiday, right? So those are just things to look out for. Now let's talk about the two ships we have in our fleet. Um, the Crystal is the ship that we use for our seven night itineraries. And she is the smaller of the two ships. So on average, she is going to have about eight to 900 passengers on board. And she has a max capacity of about 1,200 passengers. So it's a really nice, cozy um, size ship. Um, we can be very personal. Our, our staff and team remember your clients' faces. They remember their drinks. Um, we very much treat your your clients like family we're really famous for our greek hospitality and um, we get fantastic feedback for our customer service on board on the crystal there are 53 balconies and you can see the pictures the top picture and the bottom picture of our of our brand new suites so all of our suites were actually totally redone from top to bottom um this past at the beginning of 2019 before the season started. So they look brand new. Um, our suites program has a full suite concierge, so um, complimentary with the suite. So your clients get express check-in, they can get assistance unpacking, they have a full butler service that comes with a suite, they get complimentary room service, um, they can get complimentary appetizers in their suite before dinner. Um, and then we do have the entry level exterior and ocean view rooms as well and they're comfortable they're very well appointed it's for that client that really doesn't care they're excited to get off the ship and that's what they want to spend their money on but if your clients are used to traveling at a higher level um we do get people that cruise at a higher level choosing us because of the uniqueness of our itineraries because no one else is really doing what we do so for those people i would definitely put them in one of our suites and the value is amazing i mean a junior suite starts at like 18 or 1900 dollars depending on the month that you're cruising in so the value is amazing the Olympia is the larger of the two ships, and she's the ship that we use on this three and four night itineraries, along with, with the Adriatic itinerary we're going to use her on. Um, on average, the ship sails with about 12 to 1300 people and has a max capacity of about 1600 people. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The biggest difference is that the Olympia has nine balconies. So this is why we use it for the three and four night cruises because if you're on those three and four night itineraries you're never on this ship you are going from seven o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock at night and when we're sailing in between islands we have a lot of um, open area deck space on this ship where you can take in the awesome panoramic views um, because you have like really you can see the islands that we're sailing through they're so close together um, i will also talk about um the fact that english is our first language on board so we are, we do have some followed by other languages but that is the primary language that we speak on board both the ships um let's see and even though we might be new to some of you we've really been getting recognized a lot um in the industry the last few years in 2018 we actually won the cruise critic editor's choice for best service in the mid-size ship um, category. Um, we've also received Cruise Critics Awards for Shore Excursions and Best Value, and we're really solo traveler friendly. I'll point that out. We have a 30% single supplement, which is fantastic, and that applies to outside or interior staterooms. So this brings me to ask, who is the Celestial Cruiser? You can probably already start to put some of the puzzle pieces together. I think that the best way to explain this is that someone that is right for celestial cruises is probably someone who considers themselves a tra traveler, not a cruiser. There's someone who really wants to experience the destination and the culture, come face to face with the locals, try all the local food, experience the nightlife. Um, there's someone who has an adventurous 
um, personality, they're there to experience as much of the destination as possible. In terms of actual demographics, the North Americans are actually our largest segment on board. About 45% of our passengers are from North America and followed by several different other nationalities. Um, Europe follows after North America. We're getting um, clients from Latin America, from Australia and the South Pacific, Japan, China. Um, so we do have quite a wide variety of nationalities cruising with us. In terms of age, I really don't like to look at it this way. Statistically speaking, it's the baby boomers are the largest demographic in terms of age on board with us. But really what is more important is the traveler, the travel style preference, preference of your client. And I like to use the travel corporation as an example because we have Contiki passengers, Trafalgar passengers, and Insight passengers all on our cruises. And they are all completely different demographics. So if you look at the selling points of Celestial Cruises, they really can appeal to such a broad spectrum of people and ages. For example, baby boomers. When we're going to places like Israel and Turkey and Egypt, sometimes we're gonna have onboard lecture series, which is great for that audience. If you're talking to a young professional or young honeymooners, the fact that we overnight in Mykonos and Santorini, they can go out at night and they don't have to pay for a hotel in those places that can be really expensive. That would be a huge selling point for millennials. Um, so I would try to not focus on the age, but more about how your clients like to travel um, when it comes to celestial cruises. All right, some of the important stuff. How can you book? We have an agent portal, so you can make online bookings if you'd like, or we have a North American call center. They operate on East Coast time, um, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So however you like to book, it's, it's fine with us. For commission, it all depends on like what consortia you're a part of or if we're preferred with your agency, but our, our base commission starts at 12% and goes up from there. So you get 12% on the base cruise fare and also on any of the optional shore excursions that you pre-book. You also get 10% commission on pre and post hotels. And we can also help you with custom land packages. So if your clients wanted to do like three or four nights in Athens or other parts of Greece before they took the cruise, we will put together a custom proposal for you. You just have to tell us exactly what you're looking for. And finally, of course, we have an awesome agent discount. We offer 60% off both outside or inside staterooms. You're allowed to bring a travel companion at the same rate. We want you guys to experience our product because it really is special and unique. Um, so please come cruise with us. If, if you want to try us out, you're, we want you on board. And then finally, I would love, love, love if you joined our agents only Facebook group. It's called Celestial Cruises Agent Talk Americas. And we have about 1,300 travel agents in here, and they're awesome. They're super engaged. They're asking questions. They're answering each other's questions. They're giving feedback. They're telling us about their clients' experiences. So um, it's a very active group, and it's worth your time for you to take five minutes, less than five minutes, to join this group because you're going to get a wealth of information here. So let's just drive it home. Why sell celestial cruises? First, we have unique in-depth itineraries of the Eastern Mediterranean with maximum time in port, including awesome overnights that you're not gonna get with anyone else. You'll get amazing value with our inclusive package. And we are really well known for our incredible Greek hospitality and the service that we provide on board with our cozy mid-sized ships. Um, and your clients really are treated like family with us. And at the end of the day, we are all about the destination. The cruise is truly secondary. It's just, it makes logical sense that this is the best way to get around a region like this. Um, it's the, it makes it convenient for you and you get to see the most places um, without making your life totally difficult with all those logistics. Not to mention just being really comfortable, getting to meet lots of people while you're on board with us. So that's it. New Greek word for you, Efeisto. Thank you. You can have my contact details there. If um, you take that down, I can always introduce you to whoever your BDM will be. That's all I got for you.
Perfect. Thank you so much, Kelly. And I will open it up for questions. We have one from Sandra right now. Um, she is wondering if you have any insight about safety in Alexandria. Safety in where? In Alexandria. Um, well, for Egypt, Egypt is trending a lot. If you see almost a lot of the major cruise lines, land tour operators, they're all going back into Egypt and none of us are going to risk. Um, we're not going to want to go places where it's a true liability. Um, on our included shore excursion, I mean, we're, we have a police escort like almost all, all tour operators do when, when you are in a tour in Egypt. So as of right now, um, we are prepared to operate there um, like normal. Okay, perfect. Our next question is from Emily, who is wondering how many cabins are needed to book a group. So we consider a group um, to be eight staterooms based on double occupancy, so 16 paying adults. Um, and then you get one free berth for every 20 paying adults. Um, we have two different ways you can really do groups. We, because we have universal pricing, so we don't have special group pricing, you can either choose from our current promotional price that we have in the marketplace, or you can choose from our standard brochure price and get gap points for that, where you have a list of amenities that you can um, add to your group. Okay, great. And this next question from Dan, also group related, he is wondering what kinds of places have been most successful in terms of finding uh, groups, what places agents can look for and look. Oh yeah, I'll groups. give you a great, um, a great lead that you can explore. I mean, we have some pretty low hanging fruit here because we're Greek and um, almost every major town in America has a Greek festival. <laughs> um, I was looking up some myself and I mean, they're everywhere. Normally, they're put on by a Greek, Greek Orthodox church in your area. And I think a great way, and this is kind of the blueprint I'm suggesting some agents recently is if you can get a meeting with a community organizer that's involved with the festival a few months before the festival happens and get them to be your Pied Piper and hopefully some they wa would want to cruise as well to get them to help you promote it and kind of like the take would be to take the Greek festival to Greece um, and get to travel to this destination with all of your community members um, to continue the party um, and then you would get a booth at the Greek festival. Promote, I would promote a travel talk where you could have an event where people could come to learn about the trip. I would hand out like postcards and collect emails and then e-blast all those people to invite them. Also see if the organization will blast their members. I would do a travel talk, open group space and get an exclusive offer to promote the group. That's kind of like the step-by-step -step way I would do that. Okay, perfect. And um, one of our agents, Anya, is just letting you know that she's currently eating a Greek salad. So that's very <laughs> on point with everything. Our okay. next question is from Wendy, who's wondering if there's an online training module. So there's not currently. That's actually a resource that we're working on developing. And I, I think it's going to come out in the next few months. So really, your BDMs right now are your best resource. So. I urge you to reach out. Um, we're happy to put on webinars for your agencies or other coworkers if they want to learn about us. Um, but right now, we're your best resource. Okay, great. And that wraps up all of our questions. Thank you so much, Kelly, for all of the wonderful information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye. Have a great rest of your week.